Russian ships hurriedly left the port of Kaspisk after a Ukrainian drone attack earlier this week. At the time of the strike on the port, the Russian Caspian fleet grouping was stationed there almost in full strength. This is what OSINT analysts of the Cyber Borosno project wrote after analyzing satellite images taken before and after the attack. Before the attack, there were patrol ships capable of carrying caliber missiles, small artillery ships, small missile ships that can also launch calibers and a port missile boat in the said port. In addition to the main warships, up to two dozen other small class vessels were stationed in the harbor. An image dated November the 7th shows that all large ships are missing from the port except for the Stupinets missile boat. The Ukrainian drone attack demonstrated that none of the means of launching long-range Russian weapons with the help of which the Russian Federation strikes Ukraine is safe anymore and can be destroyed at any moment, experts stressed. This strike showed that from now on, no means of launching long-range weapons of the Russian Federation, which was used against Ukraine, is not safe and is under constant threat of destruction. Recall for the first time, the defense intelligence of Ukraine's kamikaze drones hit enemy ships in the Caspian Sea. At least two vessels, missile ships Tatarstan and Dagestan, were damaged in the attack and possibly also several small Project 21631 ships. Sources said, that the targeted fleet was involved in strikes against Ukraine and the 177th Marine Regiment stationed there was deployed in combat in Kherson and Zaporizhia oblasts. While Russian authorities claimed to have intercepted a single drone in the skies, a video shared on social media appears to show another drone hitting its target, resulting in a large explosion. The incident took place roughly 15 kilometers from a local airport, the MASH news channel claims, identifying the drone as a Ukrainian A-22 Flying Fox drone. The nearby Makachkala airport has suspended operations for an indefinite period due to the incident, local authorities said. Ukraine has kept up a persistent campaign of targeting Russia's high-value assets inside Russian territory and in Moscow-controlled parts of Ukraine, homing in on air and naval bases, typically with long-range explosive drones. Kyiv has managed this, despite not being allowed to use long-range Western weapons to strike deep inside internationally recognized Russian territory and attacks typically focus on Russia's Black Sea Fleet, partly based in the Crimean port city of Sevastopol. Russian's troops have damaged Kurakov Dam Reservoir in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region, local authorities said on November 11. A video has been released of the moment of explosion in the reservoir. The Kurakov Reservoir is located on the Vavcha River, with its source in a nearby village. According to regional governor Vadim Filishkin, the water level in the river near Velika Novosilka rose by 1.2 meters as of 4 p.m. on Monday. No homes have been flooded, he added. Russians damaged the dam of the Kurakov Reservoir. This attack potentially poses a threat to residents of settlements on the Vavcha River, both in the Donetsk and Dnipro regions, he said. Filishkin noted that the regional state administration continues to monitor the water level in the river and is ready for any developments. It should be noted that Ukrainian media reported in June last year that Russian troops blew up the dam of the Kakovka hydroelectric power station, which led to casualties, loss of homes and serious environmental consequences. Meanwhile, Ukrainian expert Mikhail Zyrakov said that the damage in Kurakov Reservoir Dam could help the Ukrainian armed forces, because they would get another water line along which they could hold back the enemy.